Alex staying forward and low strong are now a frame faster each at 7 frames start up. This isn't a huge change, but Alex seems to have been theorized as a poking grappler, and he certainly doesn't feel like it in SF5. Lariat is now plus 8 on hit. Linking wise, this isn't a huge deal. But it does give him a cancel to heavy flash chop, which previously failed by one frame. I think this is a really cool change, because it gives Alex significantly higher damage off of a punish Lariat versus one he uses to confirm. Appropriately, both Heavy Flash Chop and the Command Grab Ender lost a little damage and stun. Even still, this new route is Alex's strongest punish route outside the corner. Heavy Flash Chop is now minus 6 on block, which makes it a lot more risky to fish for. I don't know if they planned this, but because it's minus 6 and the opponent recovers sooner, the Season 1 mix-up of Last Frame Cancel into Command Grab is back. This had previously been patched out since it makes punishing heavy chop into a guessing game, where the opponent is forced to commit to some potentially risky stuff. Alex V skill 1 is 2 frames faster, it builds more than double the previous V meter, and Alex doesn't lose the effect if he takes damage. These are enormous buffs to this previously mediocre V skill. With the new speed, EX chop to VS1 is now 0 after quick stand. EX slash elbow to V skill is minus 1, and EX stomp to V skill is plus 9. Overall, still a bit frustratingly slow. You'd wish it was more like G, but what can you do? Alex also got 25 more health and 25 more stun. All of his changes were buffs, and some of them were actually super useful buffs that addressed his weak areas, namely his V-Skills and his mediocre meterless punishes. Both of his V-Skills are actually pretty decent in Season 5, so I'd say things went pretty well for him overall. He was maybe a bottom tier in Season 4, and I'd be surprised if he was anywhere above mid now, but he's definitely way better.